Hey everyone, it's Fresh Modica here. Now the topic of today's Mac tutorial comes from the YouTube username 8 Chillpill, and he asks, How do I render things in motion so I can have smooth playback without having to constantly pull it up in Final Cut and let it re-render every time I make a change to it in motion? I make a lot of mistakes because I can't watch it full speed. If there is an answer, I think it would be an extremely helpful tutorial, but if there's no solution, let me know. Thanks. Now what you'll need um, to do in Motion 5 to solve your problem is something called RAM previewing, which is using the RAM in your computer to render the video that you currently got in the project out still within the program. So without any further ado, I'm going to hand over to myself and uh, explain the whole thing. So when you're inside Motion and you've got your clip here that isn't playing at the speed you want to, you just click play. Right here it is playing at 29, 30 frames per second on my system. My system's not having too much trouble with it. But if it is playing at, say, 20, 15, 10 frames per second and it is lagging, in this case, what you'll need to do is select the clip, go to Mark, RAM Preview, and then All. Now, as you, as you saw there, I have selected um, or set some keyboard shortcuts uh, for my uh, for my RAM preview options and the way that you can tell that um, the part of the clip has been RAM previewed is this little green bar that goes along the top of the timeline so when it plays out it should play back at normal speed just fine now the next thing that you can do with the RAM preview is to set it to make a RAM preview for the play range so if we make the play range say let's make it two seconds and then we tell it to RAM preview the play range it'll do a RAM preview for <clears throat> what we have set the in and out points of the project to be. Just like that. And then the last thing that we can do with the RAM preview, if we just set that back to normal, is we select a clip and go to mark RAM preview and click selection. It'll make a RAM preview just for the selection. But as you can see, it's already done that. So um, if I just use this one instead, RAM preview selection, it will RAM preview that. And that will play at full speed. Now, as you can probably tell, my system does have the processing power and the RAM to play these back at maximum speed uh, in real time as opposed to having to RAM preview or render them within the program first. Your system may be able to do this as well if the refresh rate of the processor is high enough and you do have enough RAM. So that is the basics of RAM previewing in motion and I hope that solved your problem. So there you have it. That's how you do RAM previewing in motion. If this helped you out, chill, pull, make sure you um, leave a comment below telling me that it helped you please. I just, I just, I just want to know. But either way, subscribe to my channel for more awesome content coming your way each and every week. And until my next video, goodbye.